Hi, this is Shadi and today I want to talk about a very controversial subject yet very entertaining at the same time and that is the use of steroids in Jiu Jitsu. Now, before I get into this, I want to say that I've been a fan of bodybuilding, the IFBB, Mr. Olympia for years and uh, we all know that steroids are very rampant there and listen, when I talk about someone using performance enhancing drugs, I'm not saying that they are cheaters and they don't have work ethics etc. I know that they are very disciplined in terms of diet, uh, work ethic, um, commitment to training and resting etc. I know this. But I also know that steroids gives you a lot of competitive edge to add to your work ethic. So if someone has good work ethics and they're very committed to training, that doesn't mean that they are clean whatsoever. So please stop saying they work hard and they eat well. That's not an argument against steroid use. So please be educated on this subject first before you know you say oh, someone is jealous or someone is a hater. Please let's not do this. Now I've educated myself on the compounds and how this stuff actually work in order for these bodybuilders to get huge and recover faster. Now, if you know, there's something called protein synthesis and that is the use of proteins in order to make, you know, bigger muscle fibers and actually recover and grow muscle and hypertrophy. Now, steroids do help you do that and that's why we have these big lean muscular strong men they also increase your strength and there are some compounds that will also increase your stamina and endurance uh, i'm not a doctor i'm not giving any advice i'm just you know going from the medical literature that i've read and you can also do the same now steroids can be very very beneficial in jiu-jitsu for the several reasons one being you know, you need strength and technique. If you have both, then you have created a monster. So this is one aspect where steroids can be very beneficial. Uh, two, the recovery time, because someone that competes in the ADCC, like Andre Galvao or uh, I don't know, whoever else, uh, training can be very hectic and very tough uh, and they need very much, a lot of commitment to it. So recovery time can be very difficult. So steroids do help in that as well uh, alongside a clean diet of course and plenty of sleep and rest uh, also another aspect that bodybuilders uh, also tend to uh, address and that is you know joints and cartilage because they lift heavy weights etc while in jiu-jitsu not only you uh, expose your joints and cartilages to dangers from submissions heel hooks etc you're also in the gym lifting weights so you're doing basically triple and maybe quadruple the work as a bodybuilder is doing so something like gross hormone or igf1 will easily repair your cartilages and your joints um, in order for you to recover and keep training and train even more another thing is that something that not a lot of people pay attention to and that is your cardio um, Here's the thing, we all know that when we first started rolling or doing uh, Tachiwaza in Judo, we were gassed out, we were smoked, we could barely breathe and you know, barely maintain our breath and ourselves together. However, if you can recover and you know, train day after day, sometimes twice, three times a day, uh, your cardio will get accustomed and if you are taking steroids and uh, peptides like growth hormone and you are able to recover you can train even more and then your cardio will get far more adapted and you will guess out far less frequently so in a non-direct way steroids can help your uh, your cardio in a sense so for example someone like conor mcgregor gasses out that's because he's taking periods of rest in order to recover and then go so you can make somewhat of an argument that someone like Conor McGregor can be a natural athlete but uh, someone with the muscle mass of Andre Galvao and Ruzimar Palhares there's no way someone is natural with this muscle mass and the roundness and the fullness of muscles while staying this lean I'm sorry it just does not exist and Keep in mind, these are at the highest level, the ADCC, uh, Mondiales, uh, all these big and major events, even Crown Gracie, uh, while he was uh, on the Joe Rogan podcast, he said, you know, steroids are very rampant. 
Uh, I don't know, even know if ADCC is even tested. So in short, yes, steroids and peptides can be very beneficial in uh, BJJ, um, wrestling, etc. And they are very much used. And I think we should educate ourselves on this subject, not just for to use them or uh, whatever, but uh, if something that's being used in a sport, at least we should educate ourselves on the compounds, how they work, uh, what could can they do for the athletes and the side effects as well. For example, someone like Paul Harris, uh, a lot of people talk that he can be very uh, unstable sometimes mentally and steroids do play a role when someone uh, suffers from uh, temper issues. For example, even after they tap, he wouldn't let go of the leg and he would rip it and cause many injuries. And I would blame partially steroids for this because whatever your mentality is, steroids will exacerbate it and make it even worse. So that's why education on this subject, whether it is scientific, psychological and physiological, it should be addressed and it should be researched. And I did it because of bodybuilding, because I followed bodybuilding for many years and I realized that uh, in jiu-jitsu it can be very beneficial muscles and joints and cartilages uh, strength endurance all of it can be beneficial for someone that's competing in jiu-jitsu especially at the highest level this was shady and thank you for listening